everybody, this is Sybil. Welcome to my channel. I'm back to share with you three more Christmas cards. I made these cards over the last couple of days. Um, today's August 1st, so I wanted to get a few more cards made for you know Christmas in July. I had plans of making a few more, but of course I picked cards with a lot of die pieces that you have to glue, <laughs> you know, color and put together and all of that. Um, plus, I just had some other things going on, so that's okay. At least I got three more done. So, um, the first two cards, I've used Spellbinder products. Now, all of the cards, once again, are from me shopping my stash, meaning that after I did all my de-stashing and gave away a lot of my products, I was left with a lot of products that I had purchased but had never used before. And so all of these cards are made with those type of products, products I've never used before. So I believe I purchased these die sets during one of the Spellbinders warehouse sales a couple of years ago, if not last, might've been last year or the year before. So we've got the Santa, the snowman and the reindeer. And these are really easy to put together. There's not a whole lot of little pieces on this one, thank goodness. And I use the Spellbinders Parcel and Post Sentiment Stamp Set. And I use this one right here, sending the little holiday sparkle. And there is the mailbox from the Parcel and Post. And I received this as well as the Glimmer um, dies here and a stamp set from my dear friend, Leanne. Hi, Leanne, if you're watching. So I do plan on making a Christmas card with this um, set. Okay, so here is my card. I made a slimline card. So with this panel that I have all the images on, I popped that up um, using some foam adhesive. I made sure that I got it all covered real well. That way when your card is traveling through the mail, it won't like, you know, squish down in parts if you don't have your foam adhesive really well covered underneath the panel. So I popped up all three little critters there, not critters, <laughs> characters. There you go. Santa is a character for sure. A good character, right? So there's Santa Claus, I Copic colored his little face, and then the deer, and I Copic colored, I believe, on craft card stock. And then there's the snowman, no Copic coloring at, you know, at all. I use my white jelly roll pen to um, co color in the parts of his scarf there. Added some gems, and then there is the sentiment. And it's got my handmade by stamp that Susan Lafferty made for me. And then my next card, I use this Spellbinders um, embossing folder. I'm not sure if you can even see the pattern. It's really pretty. You'll see, be able to see it on my card. I don't believe I've ever used that either. And then I use the Winter Welcome Sled. So the sentiments don't come with this um, die set but the sled, the skates, the flower, and then all those little greenery pieces. And here is my card. So I had some polka dot paper and I used that to create a card base. And then there is the embossed panel. And I put the sled on top of that. And what's really cool is that the sled, um, the die, it makes the paper wood grain. It's embossed to have your paper look, you know, like wood grain. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but. And then there are the skates and the poinsettia. Of course, I had to make it pink because I love pink. And there's the word peace. And then on the inside, it says, may your days be merry and bright. And that is a paper tray ink sentiment. And there's my handmade by. And then my last one, I used the Honeybee Stamps Country Wreath. Let's see if I can, oh, that's right. I had to 
use some washi tape to close this. So I just want to show you the pieces. I've got an extra piece here. I always keep my extra pieces in anything that I've, you know, any extra die cuts. So it comes with the stamp set and I believe I only stamped the Merry Christmas and the gingerbread but I used the uh, stencil with the set to color, you know, to use my um, inks and a little dauber, a little brush to ink up the images. And then this is the die set. So it's a really nice little set there. And I'll just set that to the side. And here is my card. I really like how it turned out. At first, I have to tell you guys, when I was first working with this die set, I wasn't too impressed with it. Not because it didn't cut well, it cut really well, but I just thought, I don't know. But the more I layered, so I have the base wreath cut out in a light color, like a sage green. And then I cut out the other pieces. I used my white jelly roll pin for the leaves to give some accents. And I just kept cutting and layering and um, really, really cute. I love the gingerbread and um, the stars. So I just use my white jelly roll pin on pretty much everything <laughs> except for the stocking because I use some plaid paper for that. And then I had a bunch of, added a bunch of Nouveau um, dr drops, you know, all over. Really cute. Add another little heart there by Merry Christmas. And then on the inside says, may your holidays be filled with warmth and cheerful celebration. And there's that. And this one is so perfect because it's got candy canes and a little gingerbread and it has the same type of um, leaves that are here. So I thought that was great. So here are my three cards. Um, let me know which one you like, or if you, you know, if you like them all, that's great. <laughs> I do too. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to start making autumn cards, but I will be back. I have another video to share, but for those of you that are watching this video, you might want to watch that other video that I'm going to share. It's a layout. I have a layout and a tag, um, a scrapbook layout and a tag that I made, but it will be of interest to some of you if you enjoy to make Christmas cards because yes, I'm doing a little giveaway. Shh, don't tell anybody. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.